and Clevelanders are fed up with all this crime in their neighborhoods. There was a community meeting on the east side tonight and many people made sure their voices were heard before city leaders. News 5's DeLon Dillard was there too and shares what neighbors had to say. The volume of Brenda Bickerstaff's voice has always been loud and clear. And she says it isn't fading anytime soon. This money that they're spending on this misconduct with police brutality is money should be going in our neighborhoods for health care, programs for these children in our schools, dilapidated schools, dilapidated housing. That's what that money needs to go. Bigger staff was among the dozens of Cleveland Eastside residents who came to watch, listen, or speak during a meeting at Glenville Rec Center surrounding crime, safety, and police community relations, a topic that is near and dear to Bickerstaff. Her brother, Craig Bickerstaff, was shot and killed by Cleveland police two decades ago. Of course, safety, police brutality is an issue, and I'm trying to get them to understand we have a crime issue and we have police brutality, police reform. Those both go under one umbrella. It's a disease. It's got to be a, it's got to be a cure. The residents have been complaining about uh, police services for, um, matter of fact, this, this entire year. And hearing gunshots in the communities, you heard a lot of them talk about that, about safety. It's very, very important. The meeting, organized by Cleveland Council members from Ward 8, 9, and 10, Cleveland Public Safety Director Kerry Howard fielding many of the questions. The public has to understand and believe in its division of police. We have to be out there to do everything that we can to keep the community safe. You don't do that by refusing to get out into the community, and that's what, that's what our goal was today. Residents questioned Howard on crime reduction and an added police presence. Howard says he plans to address those questions while still facing a shortage of nearly 300 officers. As we look at our division of police, the organizational chart, we're going to see what it is and see if it needs to be changed and, and to serve what we have here in modern day. But some say it's not just on officers. Parents have to crack down on their kids, too. Starts in the home, then on the street, then the community. On Cleveland's east side, DeLon Dillard, News 5. Now, for more information on what was discussed during that community safety meeting, you can find the latest on that on our News 5 website and our News 5 app.